has happened. The Bible tells us that the Jordan River turned back. Uh, I think it's the psalmist who says at some point that, uh, uh, you know, the Red Sea, why did you run away? And to the Jordan, why did you turn back? And the only reason that he could give is because of the presence of God. Mm -hmm. Because God was there, the Jordan had no choice but to turn back. Mm -hmm. And so we step forward in faith into the unknown because God wants to do a miracle. I, I know that we live in times when uh, uh, many people, including preachers, don't expect miracles, even when they preach miracles. Uh, but God give, calls us to that life of expectancy mm. of something bigger than what we have seen, something bigger than what we have experienced in our lives, something miraculous. Mm. Uh, I think uh, that has been part of my life for a long time, that at every stage I'm expecting something beyond. Uh, I tell people, uh, uh, I think I learned it from my mother, she always had a plan beyond today. Uh, and so the, there was no day uh, until she passed away last year that she didn't have a project in mind she was working on. Uh, because to her, there is always something that God wants you to do beyond today. So may we move forward, may we move forward in faith, May we move forward knowing that God is with us. May we move forward expecting God to do the miraculous in our path as we move. But there is a second thing as we look beyond. That as we move forward in faith, God expects obedience. Uh, God is expecting obedience. Faith without obedience is not very useful faith. It's not very helpful faith that we can move with. It takes courage to obey. And this is what, what God was telling Joshua. Be courageous. Be courageous. I think he says it about three times between mm -hmm. verse 5 and 9 of the book of Joshua chapter 1. He, he tells him be strong and be courageous so that you can obey. Mm -hmm. You know, the, those who are fearful have a problem of being. And they have a problem of being because they have a problem believing God. And so they are scared, they are fearful. But those who are strong and courageous are willing to risk obeying God and see God do something that he has never done in their lives before. Obedience enables us not only to experience the miraculous, for us to see the Joel and back, turn back so that we can cross on dry land. But you know one thing I find very intriguing is that, you know, the Joel and turn back, I would have expected a lot of mud as they cross. Mm -hmm. But the Bible says they cross on dry land. Mm -hmm. Which means that Everything dried. And that is miraculous in itself. It will not be easy. It has never been easy to move forward by faith. Because it means that you are moving into the unknown, into what is risky. And uh, not many of us are good at taking risks. Uh, I, have a, I have a younger brother. Uh, He's a professor of entrepreneurship. He takes risks uh, in businesses and in things, risks that I can never think of going halfway or even a quarter. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but sometimes they work too. Our, our risk thresholds are very, very different. Mm, risk yeah. appetite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But faith means that you're willing to take high risks and put your stake, stake your life on the law. So that whatever happens, uh, God takes the responsibility for it. Uh, yeah, I, I remember uh, some years.